Marcus, the Debt Free Dad here, and in today's video, we are going to go over the monthly investment challenge stock portfolio update. But as always, there's a few housekeeping rules, a few church announcements that got to get addressed first. If you're interested in learning about finance and following my debt free journey, I pause. I normally say it the other way around. But if you're interested in learning about finance and following my debt-free journey, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and definitely hit that like button below, hit the bell so you get the notification. We invite you to become part of the family. Now, first order of business of the church announcements. It's time for the community name, drum roll. I probably should insert a drum roll sound, but I ain't gonna do all that. But it's time for the community name. Before I actually talk about what name that I decided on, first, a little thing that you all need to know about me. I'm really serious when it comes to names. My children, I gave them their names for a specific reason. There's a certain meaning to the name Aaron, and there's a specific meaning to the name Alexis, which was the reason. But I believe that uh, a lot of times when you name a person, uh, the meaning of that name instills characteristics or that person picks up characteristics of that name. So I'm really a big proponent on names and the meaning of names and giving someone a name with a purpose. So with that being said, I want to first, before we uh, announce, I want to give a shout out to my homegirl Tasha over at Mind Your Money. Great channel. I'll put the link in to her channel in the description box below. And I want to also give a shout out to my homegirl, uh, Angelica, over at Angelica's Corner. I'll put a dis link to her channel in the description box as well. But we are going to go with the Intellectual Savages. I like that name. I'll tell you, Intellectual Savage, that's kind of my post-law school nickname. Uh, maybe in another video that's less finance related, I'll tell you about my pre-law school nickname, which is a whole different set of facts, different set of stories. But in any event, we're going to roll with the intellectual savages. Now, a little bit about the breakdown, the meaning behind that. A intellectual, an extremely rational person who relies on intellect rather than emotion or feelings. And savage, untamed, not controlled. I actually think those two uh, words fit perfectly for what I'm trying to convey in this channel. Hey, I want us to think different when it comes to finances, when it comes to life, when it comes to just anything, thinking outside of the box and with the savage being untamed, being outside of the norm, being different. We're going to try to avoid crazy debt. We're going to try to avoid the credit cards. We're going to think different. We're going to do things out of the box different than what most folks would do. Hey, a lot of folks are going to think we're crazy, but that's because, hey, we thinking different. We making moves. We playing chess while everybody else is playing checkers. They thinking one or two moves ahead. But here, over here, the intellectual savages, we think about 17 moves ahead. Chess master think about 15 moves ahead. So we're going to say we think of 17 moves ahead. So that's it. So, hey, this is the first video where I'm officially greeting the community, all the intellectual savages out there making smart money moves and just making smart moves in life. So that was the first order of business. Now let's get on to the portfolio from the monthly investment challenge and we're going to start with the easiest portfolio that we have. Let's take a look at the Acorns portfolio. A quick synopsis if there's anybody new I'm essentially just taking my $300 a month that I give myself to spend and because I don't go anywhere because I'm working from home and I don't really do much, I'm just investing that money. I'm just trying to normalize investing to show that it could be done for a small amount of money. I've been purchasing stocks that are as low as $8 and $7 and $36 so that it could take small amounts of money. So. The first portfolio that we are going to look at is going to be the Acorns portfolio. A great thing about this Acorns portfolio, I talked about it before, is if you're a complete newbie to investing, this is the best app that I believe makes it easy for new investors. 
It's easiest to use. I recommend it for newbies. Um, the funds are selected based on your age and the expected date that you want to retire. The app will actually select the fund for you. You don't have to go through the hassle of picking individual stocks or worrying about company and doing research. I literally just put this on autopilot and just contribute 100 bucks a month so we can see how it's doing. Some of the funds that they invest in is the good old VOO. Some of the companies in there include Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook. They also invest in another fund, IJH, mid-cap stocks, uh, a lot of biopharmaceutical companies in there. Uh, they also invest in IJR, which is small cap stocks and they invest in a fund IXUS, which is international stocks, which has your Samsung and Nestle and some other stocks that you're familiar with. But I'll tell you, I don't really care about the names of the companies because I'm just trusting the fund. I know that VOO tracks the S&P 500, so it tracks large corporations. So total, we have contributed since the beginning of the year, we have contributed $330 to this fund. The current fund value is $395.59. So on autopilot, I'm not making any decisions, but we can see that this fund has already given us a great profit. Uh, the profit is split up. So most of the profit is from the appreciation of the stock, but the dividends that these stocks pay out that are in these particular funds are just reinvested. So between the appreciation of the stock and the dividends, right now the total value is at $395.59. We've only contributed $330. So you can see that we've so far in this, since January, we made a great profit and we haven't had to do any research or anything. So that's, that's beautiful, that's easy, uh, it's nice. Now, interestingly enough, number two, we're gonna take a look at the Weeble portfolio. Now, this is a portfolio that I essentially wanted to start uh, with $100 a month, uh, and I wanted to really focus on dividend stocks, or if it was something that uh, I wanted to pick up that may be a little bit outside of the box, but I would say 98% of it is focusing on dividend stocks. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the stocks are performing that I selected versus the stocks that are in Acorn that are on autopilot that are just in these funds. So in Acorn, we put in 330, it's worth 395. Ugh. Now let's see how I'm doing on my stock selection. Before we dive into the numbers, I wanna talk a little bit about the two stocks that I picked up this month. I'll put a link to the last video that my son and I did where we talked about the monthly investment challenge. But in short, we didn't want to spend the entire $100 this month because next month we definitely want to buy a share of Apple. We want to go big game hunting and buy a share of Apple. And so the pickup that we had for this month, we picked up two shares of Pfizer. Hey, everybody getting their coronavirus vaccine. Pfizer has a vaccine that's like 91% effective. And Pfizer is the first to actually have the FDA approved testing in children age 12 and above. So we picked up two shares at $36 per share for a total of $75.28 for those two shares. Now, some of the reasons that we picked up Pfizer, and I wrote some notes here so you see me glancing over to the computer, but first, they have great earnings, they have a low amount of debt, uh, they give about 38 cents per quarter, uh, for dividends, that's a yield of about 4.2%. The S&P 500, the average dividend yield is 1.8%. So let's just put that in the context. If, if you were to purchase 25,000 shares worth of Pfizer, you would get $925 a year in dividends where the average S&P 500 dividend stock with $25,000 invested would only pay you $450. So Pfizer, I think, was a great pickup. We'll probably get more. Um, it's under $40. I think that's a good deal considering they have a great dividend rate, a long-term track record. And uh, it's actually an interview I read where some of the Pfizer execs were talking uh, behind the scene and they were on the record. But it looks like, you know, 
uh, you're going to have to get booster shots for the coronavirus every year, just like the flu. That's what it's looking like. Pfizer released an article just today I saw where they said they're recommending a third vaccination within 12 months after you get your first two. And of course, Pfizer is in the business of making money, so they're going to find a way to capitalize, whether it's through a government subsidy or a grant or just hitting up the insurance companies. Hey, the first two was free, like crack. <laughs> like they, they selling it like it's drugs for real. Like the first two hits is free, but after that, you better have insurance because you're gonna need that booster shot to keep this Roman immune system going. So, uh, but that's what we picked up, two shares of Pfizer. So far, we've contributed $300 to this Weevil portfolio, and the current portfolio value is $363.13. So now this just goes to show, and I'll tell you that $363.13, $51.87 is cash that we're just holding over for next month so we can go ahead and scoop up that Apple stock next month. But that's interesting. So we contributed $300 to the Weevil portfolio where I'm picking stocks and, and I'm making the selections on my own. And that portfolio value right now is $363 and a little bit of change. But in the Acorns account, which is on autopilot, I don't know half of the companies that are in those funds that I talked about. We contributed $330 and the total value of that portfolio is $395.59. At least both are in the positive, but hey so far we'll see that's gonna be interesting to see how that play out at the end of the year i'm probably gonna get blown out of the water because that fund is just consistent and the last uh portfolio little little the last portfolio that we are going to look at is the coinbase account our crypto portfolio the total contribution to the crypto portfolio uh so far is one thousand three hundred and fifty seven dollars the current portfolio value is $1,883.70. Now, I'm not going to go through all of the holdings, but I'll go through the top three, and then I'll talk a little bit uh, broadly about just some of the other holdings I have in this crypto portfolio. But in the Bitcoin portfolio uh, is a $1,000 contribution that we put in, and that total Bitcoin portfolio is valued at uh, $1,319 and a little bit of change. Uh, the number two holding that we have is Ethereum. Um, right now we contributed $332 and the current value of that Ethereum portfolio is $479. And the third uh, pickup or the third holding that we have is Stellar Lumens. I actually did some research and I really like, I really like that particular currency. I like what they're doing. I think that's a uh, something that can be really big under a dollar per share too. It's not Dogecoin level, but it's under a dollar share. We have a $25 contribution instead of Lumens, and the current value of that is $52.79. Uh, everything else that uh, makes up the portfolio, the other holdings, are essentially $31 of uh, various cryptos that we got from Coinbase from doing some training. When you have a coin, when you, little, little, ah, what's wrong with me today? When you have a Coinbase account, you can do several two, three minute uh, training sessions on particular stocks. And once you complete them, you can actually earn uh, free crypto. And that's how we got that $31 uh, from Coinbase. And so uh, I'll tell you if you're interested in either Coinbase, uh, Weeble, or Acorns, I do have a link to those. And of course, they always give you uh, initial contribution or some free stocks or some free crypto once you make an initial deposit. But you'll never see me recommend anything that I don't use. These are things that I'm using. You can see from the screenshots. Um, and I think those are all good things, good ways to go. But like I said, I do think Acorn is the easiest route if you're a new investor. So that's where we are right now with the monthly investment challenge. Hey, as always, 
I appreciate you all tuning in. I appreciate the intellectual savages out there, the squad, the fam. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Y'all be safe. Be happy. Be blessed. Be healthy. Take care. Peace.